This is a recording of our playbook. Download the playbook, configuration spreadsheet, and ABA lab environment from our website. Welcome to our whiteboard drawing, Enterprise 20 Dial Plan Build, Outgoing Digit Manipulation, Part 2. Let's look at called party numbers. We need the right phone to ring. The called party number will match one of the patterns from the Patterns for Delayed 7-Digit Dialing drawing. We don't need to worry about on-net patterns. These are the patterns we care about. We need to drop the 9 as a minimum. Here are some options. Leave 911 alone and discard the 9 for all other patterns. We may want to set ISDN type of number on some gateways or trunks. We have a SIP trunk or other gateway using E.164. For the simplest option, we need three patterns. Make no changes to 911 and discard pre dot for the 9 dot exclamation and 9 dot exclamation pound patterns. Put the patterns in the called X discard 9 partition and put that partition in the called X discard 9 calling search space. This is what the 911 global transformation looks like. This is the calling search space. This table is from the Called Party Transformations tab in the Initial Dial Plan Configuration Spreadsheet. Enterprise 20 deploys these basic Called Party Transformations to use where necessary. Use the Called X Discard 9 Calling Search Space as a first step if you don't know what else to do or plan on testing the gateway or trunk behavior later. Anywhere that ISDN type of number isn't important and you're not using E.164. This may be good enough. You may not need to do anything else for your deployment. For ISDN type of number, we need to discard the digits in red and flag the remaining digits appropriately. We can use a smaller set of patterns to transform the numbers. What type of number should you use for 911 and service codes? Enterprise 20 used unknown, but we've seen subscriber in some documentation. What about for 10-digit local calls? 10-digit numbers should be national, but we've had people tell us they use subscriber in this case. Check to see how your gateways and trunks to the PSTN work. Only you can determine what type of number to use on your ISDN gateways for these cases. Note, we heard at Cisco Live 2014 that you can get E.164 addressing on some ISDN trunks in the US. If you can, then you should. All the patterns will go in the called X type of number partition, which is in the called X type of number calling search space. This is what this global transformation looks like. This is the calling search space. This table is from the called party transformations tab in the initial dial plan configuration spreadsheet. Enterprise 20 deploys these ISDN called party transformations to use where necessary. Use the called X type of number calling search space anywhere that ISDN type of number is important. For E.164, we need to globalize the numbers exiting the local gateways. North American numbers look like this when globalized. International numbers look like this when globalized. Replace the 011 with a plus sign. It's that simple. We have common transformations. For example, at Toronto 55, we have these transformations. We have site-specific transformations wherever we have seven-digit dialing. We need to prefix plus one and the area code 416 for Toronto 55 for these patterns. For example, 
at Toronto 55, this number is transformed to this number. Here are all of the transformations we need at the Toronto 55 site. Enterprise 20 used the called X E164 partition and the called X E164 calling search space for the common patterns. Use called X E164 calling search space anywhere you have an E.164 gateway and no local seven digit dialing. This is what this global transformation looks like. This is the calling search space. We use the SiteX called X E164 partition and the SiteX called X E164 calling search space for the site specific patterns. For example, Toronto 55 called X E164 partition and Toronto 55 called X E164 calling search space for the Toronto 55 site. This is what the Toronto 55 site-specific local seven-digit pattern global transformation looks like. This is the calling search space. This table is from the called party transformations tab in the initial dial plan configuration spreadsheet. Enterprise 20 deploys these E.164 called party transformations to use at the Toronto 55 SIP trunk. Use the site X called X E164 calling search space for trunks or gateways with the E.164 addressing and specific requirements for globalization like seven digit local calling. Enterprise 20 deploys these called party transformations to use where necessary. Start by using called X discard nine calling search space everywhere. Use the other transformations as necessary. You need to know how your PSTN trunks and gateways work. Start by using called X discard nine calling search space everywhere. Use the other transformations as necessary. Do you know how your PSTN gateways behave? If you do, send us a description and we might be able to program an Enterprise 20 site to match the behavior. Here's an exercise. Build tables indicating the called and calling party transformations you need for your own enterprise, like shown in the table below for Enterprise 20. This table is for E.164 called party transformations from the called party transformations tab in the initial dial plan configuration spreadsheet. Let's look at gateways and gateway device pools. We need to know how to apply global transformations. Enterprise 20 has separate device pools for phones, gateways, and media resources. Each site has its own device pools. We've organized device pools based on location. We like to have a single device pool at each site for all gateways and trunks at the site. This doesn't always work out. For example, the Toronto 55 gateways device pool Hamilton 601 Gateways Device Pool, Winnipeg 602 Gateways Device Pool, and other gateways and device pools. Each gateway device pool has site-specific configuration information. Enterprise 20 applies called and calling party transformations using gateway device pools. The multi-site PSTN simulation has both ISDN and E164 options for the Toronto 55 site. All other sites use SIP trunks without E.164. Enterprise 20 has 10 sites. The Toronto site has an H.323 trunk that uses ISDN type of number. Think of this as being the same as a PRI. The Toronto site has a SIP trunk that uses E.164 addressing. We'll use this to help migrate to E.164. All other sites use SIP trunks with no E.164. Here are the device settings Enterprise 20 used for most gateways and trunks 
from the Trunks tab on the Initial Dial Plan Configuration Spreadsheet. We check these boxes so that we can consolidate configuration in the device pool. Incoming Calling Party Settings, Use Device Pool, Calling Search Space. Use Device Pool Called Party Transformation Calling Search Space and use Device Pool Calling Party Transformation Calling Search Space. We use QSIG in the lab environment. QSIG running on an H.323 trunk didn't work out for us. Enterprise 20 deploys 11 gateway device pools. We need two device pools at the Toronto 55 site because the digit manipulation at the two Toronto gateways is different. This table is from the Gateway Device Pools tab in the Initial Dial Plan Configuration Spreadsheet. There are site-specific called party transformation calling search spaces in the table that we have not discussed yet. These address requirements for features we discuss in a later drawing. Enterprise 20 deployed these Gateway Device Pools. Enterprise 20 now has a working dial plan for all 10 sites. Users can dial other users at the same site using abbreviated dialing. Users can dial other users at other sites using 8 plus site code plus extension. Users can dial externally, but sometimes seven digit numbers will be delayed by the T.302 timer. Later drawings build on this configuration looking at call forwarding, AAR and CFER, THO, and mobility configuration. Coming up next, Enterprise 20 Dial Plan Build, Blocking Online's Class of Service for Delayed 7-Digit Dialing. Thanks for watching!